Hey guys. <clears throat> Happy Monday. Oh my goodness. Every darn time I go in here, I see all sorts of new things <laughs> in Facebook. Let's see here. Um, let me make this bigger. There we go. Like that. Oh, it has been a quite the day for me. Oh my goodness. I am very happy to be stamping with you guys tonight. Um, as some of you may know that, uh, there are lots of demonstrators that you find online where stamping is their job and while stamping is definitely my job as a business, I also have a full-time job, kind of a day, do a day job. And my goodness, today was quite the trying and exhausting day. And um, one of the things that I love to do, to do some uh, relaxation and kind of just rest and chill out is stamping. So I'm super happy to be here stamping with you guys. I really need it after the super long day that I had today. Um, so as you guys pop on, please say hello so that I know who's watching and I wanna connect with you. I love to see where everyone is from and uh, chat with you. Now I may not always be able to catch every single comment that pops on here. I definitely do go through and read them all when I'm done. It's like my favorite part of the live. So um, I just love that. I see a couple people watching. Hi Robin, hi Kay, thanks for watching. Glad you could join me tonight. Um, and then the other thing too is I've got some prizes to give away tonight, and you all know that I give away my most fabulous prizes for um, sharing and, of course, for ordering, <clears throat> which I'll be rolling out soon. Um, I just got to get all my prizes lined up and together. So if you could just take a minute and hit that share button below the video, I so appreciate that. You know, when you share and my video, you are helping me and you are helping my small business. And I so, so, so appreciate that. Oh, hi, Marie. She's watching from chilly, foggy Sacramento, California. You know what, Marie? Um, it's actually uh, foggy here too and chilly. We had some snowflakes flying a little bit, but it turned into rain. Um, and then the ground's warm and the air is cold. And so it gets a little foggy. So it's foggy here too. Um, for those of you who don't know me, or this might be your first time watching, my name is Rose Grunewald. I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up!, which means basically I'm a creative coach. I love to inspire your creativity and give you ideas of uh, what you can do with all your great product. <laughs> and uh, I'm Stampin' with you tonight here in my fabulous Stampin' Studio in New Holstein, Wisconsin. Um, you can't quite see the details, but behind me there are some cards from product in the new catalog. So I'm super, super excited that we have a new catalog coming out and uh, December is a very, very busy month for me because not only do I have Christmas going on, but um, I am preparing for all sorts of goodies for you. I have got card kits uh, planned and cut and made, and I'm in all sorts of swaps so I can get beautiful, beautiful um, ideas and inspiration to help share with all of you. Oh, I know, Marie. I was sad. I wanted to see the Christmas star tonight as well, and I'm not sure that we're going to be able to get to see that here either because it is not clear conditions. I was really disappointed in that as well. I see Julie Jensen is watching from Minnesota. Hi, Julie. Welcome. I'm glad you could watch and catch me live tonight. Um, okay, I've got my notes here. Let me make sure. Because after the day I had, let me tell you, I can't remember anything. My brain is fried. So let me look at my notes here. Okay. 
Oh, yes. I upload the replay of this to YouTube. So whether you're watching the replay here on my Facebook or on YouTube, I love your comments there too. Um, and if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any of my videos. Uh, upcoming events. I'm doing a ton of stamping with you coming up. This week alone is a busy week because our paper pumpkin kits um, are starting to arrive in the mail. So remember, I have my connect and create uh, live stamping with you on Wednesday night. That's the 23rd at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Usually I do those events on Thursday, but because Thursday is Christmas Eve, I moved it up a day. So I'm going to uh, show you our paper pumpkin kit for this month and some alternate ideas, what you can do with that. So I think you'll love it. I've seen the kit and it's really cute. I'm excited. I also am doing some stamping over the lunchtime on Wednesday. So I go live at 11.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. We do some stamping then. Um, I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to be able to do those because I may have to return into the office uh, coming up soon. Celebration is starting January 5th. There is some amazing hostess benefits and benefits to join my team, extra perks. It's always fabulous to be on my team, but Stampin' Up! gives you extra perks. Um, if you're interested in hosting a virtual party, let me know. I would love to get that set up for you. During celebration, you get extra rewards, so that's always fun. Okay, so let's do prizes, because that's really the, the fun kickoff to this, right? You might remember last week, I took some of our Magic in This Night designer series paper, and I found the black and white pretty flower images and did some sponging with our new blending brushes coming out in the spring catalog. And I made these adorable cards. These two are baby cards. Hello, baby. And I made a couple get well cards too. All from Halloween designer series paper. I love how versatile our paper is. And it just is really, really gorgeous. So I am giving away two of these cards um, for likes and comments. Um, the first winner is Deb Clifton. Congratulations, Deb. I'll get this card um, out in the mail to you, but I need your address. So if you would please send me um, a private message or an email to countrycardsbyrose at gmail.com. I'll get that in the mail to you this week. And then our other winner is, oops, got to get that in the center. Our other winner is Julie Jensen. And I saw Julie on here. So congrats, Julie. I need your address as well. So if you would um, please private message me or send me an email, countrycardsbyrose at gmail.com. I will get those out in the mail to you. And then... My prizes for sharing, this is always my most favorite prize to give away. I have got a super fun card kit using brand new product from Celebration. There's a little bit of a glare from the screen. Hopefully you can see that adorable hummingbird. These are beautiful cards, but they are simple. So even if you're a beginner stamper, you would love to put these cards together. Everything you need is cut out. You just have to do some stamping and put it together. And if you don't have this stamp set, you can swap it out or you can wait and put your kit together after you get your goodies from Celebration. And this prize is for sharing my video. So again, if you haven't shared that video, hit that share button. Oh, and I forgot. Comment shared when you're done because Facebook changed all of their privacy stuff. I can't see who shares, but I can see the number of people who shared and I can see when you say in the comments that you shared. Um, so make sure you comment shared when you're done so that I can get you in the entry. Okay, so the winner of this for sharing is Bernetta Kirsten. So congratulations, Bernetta. I do have your address, so I will work on getting that in the mail to you this week. All right, sorry, I bumped you. 
Oh, but that's okay. I'm not on my phone. I'm going to flip this around so that we can do some stamping and get a little light going so you can see better. Hopefully it's not too bright or too much of a glare. I see Rhonda's watching from Maryland. Hello, Rhonda. Thanks for joining. <clears throat> okay. Tonight, I am using um, some products I haven't touched in a while and some colors I haven't used in a while too. So I'm really excited about that. I'm just getting everything all set up here. We are going to make a beautiful card. Hopefully I didn't just give away something because I have some stuff pre-made ahead of time. All right. Tonight we are using the so much love stamp set. I love how simple the stamp set is. So if you are a person who loves to do coloring, especially with our blends, so beautiful. Um, these are really simple images to color and the flowers are gorgeous. I love the font and the saying. So this one says so much love for you, here for you and you made my day. And then there's these cute little dots that you can um, stamp as well. So for the card tonight, I'm using this smaller um, flower and I already have that mounted on my block. The size block I'm using is I. I get asked that a lot actually after my videos. Um, and I we're going to use these dots, I think. I did not use them on my uh, sample card where I was getting my ideas flowing. And I'm also using the here for you sentiment, but I've already pre-stamped that for you because um, we've got quite a few little um, things going on and uh, I wanted to have that done. So that'll be coming up here. All right. So let me get my paper. We are not using, um, well, we are using ink pads, but we're also using some markers tonight. And we're going to be also doing some embossing. So I love the look of watercolor. I think it is super, super pretty. Um, but listen, it isn't always as simple as it looks. So um, I wanted a simple way to do some watercoloring, and that's what I'm going to show you all tonight. So what I have here in front of me is a piece of our Fluid 100 watercolor paper. This stuff is amazing. And let me read you the dimensions of this piece. Um, okay, this piece is three and three quarters by five inches. We're also going to need a basic black layer that I can tell already I grabbed, but is not cut to the right size. And that is going to be five and a quarter. Let me cut this quick. By four. There we go. So we have a basic black layer. And then for our card base, I plan on using uh, Highland Heather. And this piece is uh, five and a half by eight and a half. And we're going to fold that over at four and a quarter. I always like to use my bone folder to get a nice crisp edge so that that card, actually, I'm going to show you why I use a bone folder. If I fold this over just like that, do you see how my card pops up? And even if I press it down, um, it pops open on me. Whereas when I use a bone folder, the fold is nice and tight and crisp and it stays closed better. So for those of you wondering why in the heck is she always using that bone folder, um, that's why. These are really not very expensive and I use it on literally every single card I make. And uh, it also ends up floating around my desk <laughs> and I lose it. So 
I have three of them <laughs> in my little cubby here next to my desk. All right, I'm gonna grab a scrap here because I wanna get water all over my surface. Okay, <clears throat> this stamp has a couple of different images in it. We have our flower and we have our leaves. I want them both stamped in different colors. So we're gonna do um, a technique. I actually used it in a previous live where we color, we place our ink right on the stamp using our stamp and write markers. Now I am using just Jade for the leaves and that comes from this pack of in color markers. And then I'm gonna be using Highland Heather for the flower. And that comes from my huge ginormous pack of many marvelous markers, which I use all the time and have been worth every single penny. They are amazing. Now, these markers are not ones that I typically use. If you are a beginner, I do not typically use these markers for coloring in stamps. Once they've been stamped, you can, but I'm usually using these to do like exactly what I'm doing now, place the ink on my rubber stamp or to do some ink flicking across my paper. But I'm not usually using them to color in my images. I'll use our alcohol markers, Stampin' Blends for that. So all I'm doing is, oops, I'm going along here and I am just coloring in the raised, I'm using the uh, fatter tip. This has two points, a fine tip and a kind of a wide tip. And I'm using the bigger tip to do this coloring. And this is really very simple. And this is gonna stay wet for some time. So you don't have to stress or worry about this not taking hold. This ink will stay wet on this rubber stamp for a bit. And if you have a really big intricate one that's taking a while, you can always huff on your stamp to kind of um, refresh the ink. All right, that looks pretty good. Okay, now comes the fun part. I have my Stampin' Spritzer here and I am going to get some stuff out of the way. I'm going to spritz my rubber stamp. I just gave it three good spritzes and then I will flip this over and stamp my paper. Okay, now this one is pretty darn good. We've got some good water flowing here on it, but if you want more of it, like in this top where it's defined, you can just spray your paper some more and spread some of that ink. Now we need this to dry completely. So I'm using my heat tool. And you just run it over your paper to dry it. Okay, now this is not completely dry, but I was prepared tonight, you guys. I hope I can find it. Here it is. I was prepared and through the magic of TV, I have a dry piece right here. So this one, we had a little bit more smudging on the top, this other one on the bottom. Um, and as these dry, then you'll be able to do the next step. So make sure that it is completely dry before you do the next step. All right. 
Okay, I'm gonna set this aside. Okay, now I need to clean off my stamp. So let me get my chamois here. Oh, this chamois is like my favorite thing I ever bought. It is so amazing. And I'm just drying this off a little bit here. The, because the water gets on the block. It's no big deal, but I don't want water getting everywhere here. So, okay. Now, now we're going to do some embossing with embossing powder. You could do this a couple ways. You could use clear embossing powder and stamp in your, um, ink, then your Versamark, then your clear. But I thought this would look pretty with some silver embossing powder. So that's the color that we're going to use. And um, I keep my embossing goodies here in a little container. I'm just going to get out my silver. I cannot believe that Christmas is already this week. You know that I did not think any of my family was gathering, so we did not buy any Christmas presents. And a couple days ago, we were invited to a family get together. And of course, we're gonna be safe and social distance, but we have to bring our presents. And I'm like, uh oh, uh, we have to go shopping now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using my embossing buddy before I do my um, embossing here. So I am curious, <laughs> do you have all your shopping done? Did any of you get invited to any last minute Christmas get togethers? Are you panicking like me to figure out how in the heck you're gonna get your stuff bought? Oh my goodness. So interesting. Okay. I got my Versamark here and I'm inking up my, this is a big stamp compared to my Versamark pad. So we're inking that up. I want this good and inked, but not like getting all over the place. Okay. Now, I do not need this lined up perfect, but you could do this on the Stamparatus if you want. I'm just going to do the best I can. And I'm going to take our silver powder. So, and then I just pour this back out. I know that there are lots of other people who store these in their own individual containers. I don't, and I should, but I don't right now. I need to get some more. Okay, I'm just going to set this aside because we are done with that for now. Okay, and now I'm going to heat emboss our silver powder. Um, a tip for heat embossing, I don't even start blowing this on the project until my air is good and hot. So like I use my hand to feel when it's warm. And then after it's warm is when I start doing my embossing. There we go. So what I love about this technique, let me move my uh, heat tool here out of the way. What I really love about this technique 
is because we are spritzing that watercolor, it makes the lines a little bit fatter and they pop out behind the beautiful silver embossed layer. Now, you know that the camera never does these projects justice. Let me see if I can get some better light here. This is so gorgeous. You see that? How it's raised up. What do you think? Do you love that? This is going to be a pretty clean and simple card. But that's how that looks. All right. <clears throat> okay. Now, you know, I can't have a card without ribbon. And I also need a sentiment on it. And actually, before I get too far, let me quick wash this off so it doesn't get all sticky and stay on there. <clears throat> so what I did was I stamped the here for you sentiment in white embossing powder. I heat set it on a piece of basic black. So this is also embossed and kind of raised up. And then I fussy cut around the letters. This was easy. Do not think that this is difficult. It's literally stamp, pour the powder, heat set, take your snippers and cut around it, okay? So, next, I have this pretty ribbon because you know I can't have a card without ribbon. Oh, thank you, Rhonda. Thank you, Kay. I appreciate that. This is our glittered organdy ribbon and this comes from the big catalog. I am just going to cut a piece of this ribbon. I want it about this big. And that is going to go on my card like so. All right. But I got to glue that puppy down. So I'm looking for, I'm going to use my silicone mat. And I'll use my Seal Plus to make sure it stays well on my card. There we go. We've got that adhered to our card front, like so. And then with our sentiment, our here for you, I'm gonna pop that up on dimensionals. Now this is pretty small, so I will need my mini dimensionals here. <clears throat> you know, the other thing, <laughs> I have not done this holiday season is any baking and I told my husband I got in the mood to do some baking today I really want some Christmas goodies um and he said oh really and I said yeah he goes well did you do any baking today and I said no I was working I plan to do it on Christmas Eve and he's like, oh, yep, we're probably not going to get any goodies. <laughs> so he's thinking that my ambition to do some baking is probably going to pass. And to tell you the truth, he's probably right. I don't do a lot of baking. I like to cook, but I don't do a lot of baking. Do you prefer cooking or baking? I... I think I like cooking better, but every once in a while, I just want some goodies and store-bought baked goods just does not cut it. It just doesn't. All right, I am putting that here for you up on dimensionals right above that ribbon layer. What do you think? Do you like that so far? <clears throat> okay. Now let's put our card together. So I have this Highland Heather 
And I always, I've been doing this a lot lately. Oh my gosh, my heat tool is like, all the cord is wrapped up in everything. There we go. I like to do a little bit of stamping on my card base. So I'm going to grab my Highland Cutter ink pad. Rhonda likes baking. Oh, you can bake for me anytime. I prefer cooking. Although with as busy as I've been lately, you probably would never know it. Because I haven't been doing very much of it. Okay. So when I've got different layers, I really enjoy doing some light stamping on my card base in the corners or like the sides. So for this one, I'm going to stamp that there. Yeah, so he knows I'm probably not going to bake. <laughs> but I have good intentions. I would really like to bake. I don't know. Maybe I will. I really want to believe that I'm going to. <laughs> uh, it's like a little engine that could. I think I can, right? But... Ooh, my track record is not so great. I'm just going to be honest. Okay. Uh, so I was going to do some of those dots and I'm a little not sure that I want to do that. So what can I do? I feel like I need to spruce this up a bit. How about some marker flicking? Let me take my Highland Heather here, and I'm just going to do some ink splatters. Very light. Ooh, that one was a bit bigger than I thought it would be across the card. And then I'll do the same with my Just Jade. So we get both colors in here. There we go. Um, all right. I want to make sure this is good and dry. Rhonda's laughing. Well, you know how that goes. Don't you kind of have to be in the mood sometimes to do some of that stuff? And oh, I feel like I'm going to be, and then the day comes. And Let's be honest. I'd rather come up here and stamp, right, ladies? I mean, wouldn't we rather be up here stamping than baking? I know I would. <clears throat> Okay, this ink is not quite dry, so I'm trying to get it dry before I go trying to put some glue on. Okay. And this needs to be smaller. I cut this the wrong size. I think I told you, what did I tell you? Five and a quarter, but this needs to be the same size as your uh, fluid, your watercolor paper. So it'll be five by three and three quarters. Sorry about that. As I'm looking at it, I'm like, yeah, that's way too big. <laughs> yes, you do have to be in the mood today. You certainly do. All right. We're going to adhere our card, and I think I want to do this a little off kilter. So get my stamp and seal. I swear to you, I hear angels singing when I use this seal. This thing is so darn smooth. Oh, it's amazing. I just love it so darn much. Okay, we're putting down our black layer. And I want my white up on dimensionals, my watercolor paper. So let's do that. Grab some of those. Well, and frankly, I did not get very many uh, goodies this year. 
because we didn't have a lot of festivities and celebrations to go to. So normally I would get a little more of my share of Christmas goodies than I did this year. <clears throat> okay, because this is watercolor paper and we did a little drying and it's maybe just a little bit warped, I'm putting on more dimensionals than you'll probably usually see me put on, but I want to make sure this is good and secure. All right, there we go. Okay, now to a hair. I feel like this looks pretty good. There we go. And our ribbon is just a little big. It's sticking off the edge. And what I love about our paper snips is how easy it is to kind of come in here and just trim that off. What do you think? How much do you love this card? We're not done yet, but this thing is pretty gorgeous if I do say so myself. Let me move some of my stuff out of the way so you guys can get the full effect how beautiful it is. Do you love this? Oh, can you see that shimmer? Oh, it's so beautiful. All right, we gotta do a little more stamping. Let's do the inside. I gotta keep the party going on the inside. And this flower is too pretty to not stamp again. So I'm going to bring this in, I think, like this. Oh, oh, pretty. Do you love it? I love it. And then we'll adhere this to the inside. Do you hear that? Angel singing every time this roller. Oh, it's quiet and smooth and I love it so much. I almost put that in upside down. Okay. So there's our inside. And remember, I don't know if Leslie is watching tonight, but we cannot forget to stamp our envelope. And I am going to do that two ways tonight. Usually I do it in the bottom corner here. Tonight, we've got our flap here. And I'm going to, actually, I'm going to fold it over. I'm going to stamp right on our flap, like so. Isn't that pretty? So that's on the flap. And then I'm going to take this flower and just come in at the corner like this, just a little bit to add a little pretty to the envelope. Sometimes I think the mail carriers probably like seeing the pretty on our envelopes too, don't you think? I think. <clears throat> okay. So now when they go to open their card, look, you have a pretty envelope that matches your card as well. And we're not done. We're not done. I think this needs one more thing. I've got my bling box here. 
How about we use some new bling? I got me some new bling out of the new catalog. One of my favorite things about being a discount shopper is that I get to get stuff early before everyone else. It's amazing. And in our new catalog is these really pretty matte black dots. You can see we've got a couple different sizes of these and I have been using them a lot for some swap cards. I'm going to put some of these on our card. I think right here. And I think right here would be good. I always like to put these on in odd numbers. So three or five or seven, kind of depending on what you're putting on and what space you have to fill up. And that adds just a perfect punch of black to our card front. So there you have it. That's our project for tonight. Now, as I was playing around, I also made one with, um, I'm trying to think what color this is. This is, uh, I believe this is mango, not mango, uh, what's it called? No, the new color, magenta. Sorry, I couldn't think of that, magenta madness and just jade and I put some of our rhinestones on there. Let's see if I can get you to see. See how that is popped up and embossed. I didn't do the inside of this one, but we stamped those flowers on the just jade card base. And so there we have this one too. Aren't those gorgeous? I used the bigger flower on this one too from that stamp set. I think maybe I like the bigger flower a little bit better. A little more pop of color in there, but they're both beautiful to me. All right. <sighs> Thank you so much for joining me tonight, you guys. I had a lot of fun stamping with you. It was just what I needed after this really long trying day. And uh, join me here Wednesday. I'll be here twice actually on Wednesday, uh, assuming that work doesn't go into the lunch hour, but I usually can try to do that. Um, and then Thursday night for Paper Pumpkin Kit. And then also uh, next Monday, I'll be live again at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. And the following Monday after that, put it in your calendar, people. It is my catalog kickoff event. And I'm working on quite the promo that I think you're really gonna like. Uh, so make sure you don't miss either of those events. If you are not on my email list, shoot me your email so I'll add you and you can uh, be in the know of all my events that are coming up. I'm gonna go eat a very late dinner now. And thanks for joining me again. I probably said that a hundred million times, but I so appreciate it. I love connecting with you every Monday on my Make It Mondays. I will see you here soon and be stamping with you soon. Uh, have a Merry Christmas and I will be back, well, actually before Christmas. So, all right, have a great night, everybody. See you later.